Malawi's Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Simplex Chisiola Banda, a stake in center stage as he introduces the planned 2024-25 national budget, raising optimism among Malawians seeking respite from the country's difficult economic situation. This is Banda's first complete fiscal plan following his presentation of a media budget review statement in November 2023 after succeeding Sosen Gwengwe. During pre-budget presentation, stakeholders expressed their expectations that the financial plan would incorporate their feedback and align with President Lazarus Chakwera's State of the Nation Address, which was delivered earlier this month. Meanwhile, Malawi's economy remains significantly weakened by recurrent external shocks combined with macro-fiscal imbalances. And to talk about these, I'm joined live on the news by Dr. Bertha Chidakza, Artin President of Economics Association of Malawi. Good evening from Thank here. You. It's a pleasure to have you join me. Thank you. Now, what are your thoughts on the budget speech delivered by the Minister of Finance? What are the highlights or takeaways from that speech? All right. Um, the key takeaways are that, as expected, we wanted the budget to align itself to the State of the Nation address, which the president actually um, delivered uh, two weeks ago. And exactly like that, it happened. So it has aligned itself to the Malawi investment plan, but also the State of the Nation address. So it ensures inclusive growth and also, you know, uh, achieving economic resilience. Uh, we've also noted for the first time that the budget uh, has 30 percent allocated to development, which uh, is something new because basically we've seen it to be less than 30 percent. And we've also seen, you know, some deliberate measures to enhance domestic revenue mobilization through broadening of non-tax uh, revenues. And also we've seen um, something that, you know, a focus on highly productive sectors, which in the SONA they were termed ATM, uh, the sectors of agriculture, uh, tourism, and mining. So we have actually seen some measures that, you know, are trying to boost the agriculture sector also making the mega farms, which have been touted recently, you know, to be like those strategies for uh, export, you know, because I think they have, uh, the country signed some agreements with China to be exporting some legumes. So the mega farms actually are for that. And also tourism, we've seen some efforts in um, removing, you know, visa requirements for some 70 something countries. And the issues of even mining, we've seen that the country has actually established, you know, uh, the mining company of Malawi. So, and this is also in the, um, I think, under the Malawi Development uh, Corporation. So these are some of the highlights that we've seen that they are trying to bring the economy on track. And also issues of maybe, you know, trying to reduce importation of fertilizer, by trying to uh, setting up a company in the country to really be manufacturing fertilizer. So if you know that the country has been experiencing some foreign exchange shortages and the, we were expecting the budget to at least put in some measures to reduce you know, demand uh, for foreign exchange, and some of those we have seen them because we've seen that the budget has also put some restrictions in trying to uh, limit some of the imported e things that, you know, um, your consumers do buy. For example, maybe some finished products which could otherwise been produced at home. So they are encouraging actually to uh, import raw materials which can boost the manufacturing sector. So these are some of the things that I think the budget has highlighted you know, are uh, trying to boost their revenue by increasing non-tax uh, revenue and also, you know, um, gazetting some laws in terms of mining, specifically just to boost the mining sector, the tourism, the agriculture. I think something that we were expecting but didn't happen is the reduction of the agricultural input uh, 
uh, products uh, touted the AIP, which is free distribution, or maybe paying a little for some agricultural inputs. So we've seen that, especially with the current situation where the country is experiencing El Nino, uh, that distribution didn't work. And if the, you know, El Nino or uh, climate change issues like this continue, the country will not benefit with AIP. So we are thinking that maybe the government would shift so many resources from AIP, maybe to climate smart agriculture or to mega farms. So in highlights, I think I can say uh, those are the key issues that we've seen from the budget. And it was, you know, giving hope to Malawians upon seeing that it walked almost the same uh, walk or the same tone that the State of the National Address gave the Malawians. Thank you. All right. I know you talked about, you know, the focus of the budget being on tourism, like you mentioned, uh, being on mining and also being on boosting the economy. Of course, you mentioned mm -hmm. an exception when it comes to agriculture. But then how do you think these will impact inflation as well as unemployment in Malawi? All right. Um, if you have a look at the inflation, you know, in Malawi, it is, uh, you know, um, made up of uh, the food inflation, but also imported inflation. And the food inflation contributes largely, you know, to the basket of inflation. And so by trying to invest in mega farming, so we're trying to bring in food to the, a lot of the people in Malawi. And by making food available, we know that prices will not rise. So by turning the price of food, we will know that we'll be managing the inflation, uh, the inflationary pressures that actually come with food. And like I said, that also there is a larger percentage that comes from imported inflation. And so, as I said, we've seen some measures that they're saying they'll be producing fertilizer. In that case, it means that the imported inflation that comes with agricultural inputs, because agricultural inputs actually are the number one um, on the Malawian imports. So if we try to reduce those ones, then we know that we'll be controlling this imported inflation and also putting in spanners in the wheels of those people who import a lot, especially finished products which could otherwise be produced here. We are also trying to reduce that, uh, in, uh, reducing the number of imports, but also trying to contain the imported inflation. And so that's yes, the most I, uh, if they can work, take. the talk with this budget, to me, I think, yeah, they will actually try to uh, control the inflation that the country and is experiencing. And that's the most we can take on the news. Thank you so much for your insight, Dr. Betha. Thank you once again. Thank you so much.